it's Sally from SB Sports Massage and Rehabilitation. We're back today focusing around the pelvis. We've talked previously in previous videos about the glutes and activating the glutes. We now just want to focus on the opposite muscle, the hip flexors. So, as I said before, the vast majority of the people that we meet will sit at a desk for a living. And you can imagine, you're sitting at a desk in this position. Even if you're upright and got good posture in your upper body, your legs and your hips are still flexed. What happens over time is your hip flexor muscles here become shortened. So they've been very static in that position for up to eight hours a day. They then become very shortened. What that does over time is it pulls your pelvis forward so it gives you an anterior tilt on your pelvis because these shortened muscles are pulling your pelvis forward you can see that that has an effect on your lower back so not only does it mean that your lower back is overextended and arched but it's also just putting a, a lot of pressure on these muscles across your lower back so I've talked in previous videos about activating your glutes and trying to strengthen your lower glutes. What this will do if your pelvis is anteriorly tilted because your hip flexors are tight, these muscles are stronger so it enables you more to stand like this. But what you need to do at the same time is try and loosen off these hip flexors and I'm going to show you a great exercise to do that. So, you start your lunge, lunge forward. Your back leg should have your foot flat against the mat. Now you need to focus on keeping your foot in line with your knee and your knee in line with your hip. Then when you're stable and ready, hips facing forwards and lunge your knee towards the front of your toes. You need to keep your hips square. You need to keep it very, very stable and very, very slow movements. As you come back up, just have a breath and then you should find that you can lunge a little bit deeper into the stretch. As you push back up again through your foot, through your front foot, you should find that for the third time you can stretch a little bit deeper. You need to keep your tailbone pushed under so there's none of this arched back. It's very much hips facing forwards and push your knee towards the front of your foot. To progress from this lunge onto kind of level two, more of an intermediate level, if you lunge forward, again, everything in alignment, everything facing forwards, knee above your toes. If you lift your arms above your head, keep your shoulder blades drops down. As you lunge forward again, you get an even deeper stretch through here. And what that's doing is stretching into your abdomen as well. So arms up, shoulder blades down, lunge forward. And if you want to make it even harder, if you curl your toes under on your back foot and lift your knee up, still try and keep the 90 degrees on your front leg, lunge forward from there, deeper stretch in your hip flexors on your back leg, lift your arms up again, shoulder blades down, really nice and controlled, pushing your back knee towards the mat. So there we have it, you've got three levels of a hip flexor stretch. You're trying to stretch off the front, so it stabilises your pelvis, it gives you a bit more of a natural movement, allows you to be a bit more upright, rather than tilted forward with an anterior pelvic tilt, which we see quite commonly.